Okay, hello everyone. Right away, I want to thank you for coming back to my channel for another video. Today, we are talking about a very old man with enormous wings, which is a short story by the famous Colombian writer Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And right away, I'll say this, I think this video is worth your time because I want to help you actualize your full potential and achieve your goals. And I've tried to tailor today's content to that end. But here's the next question that I'll address. Why do I think this short story is worth your time? I'll say briefly, Marquez was one of the great writers of the 20th century. His work changed the world of literature, and I think this story functions as a great in for anyone who's interested in exploring his work, which you know tends to be described as magical realism. But that isn't the only reason why. I think Marquez's work is just worth your time in general. I mentioned in my video on Notes from Underground that to some extent literature functions, great books function as a kind of mirror. And I think that this short story is an example of what you know great short stories can do. I talk about great novels as mirrors and great short stories function the same way except instead of reading you know 130 pages in the case of Notes from Underground or you know sometimes I mean significantly more hundreds and hundreds of pages um, it's the, the, the meaning is kind of condensed into something smaller. Um, and there are, there are pros and cons to that, but I think that it's still, you know, in this sh short story especially, it functions as a kind of mirror. Spending time with this story can help you develop yourself because even though it's only, I think, four or five pages, the story says something profound about the coexistence of compassion and cruelty in human beings. And if you're, I think if you're going to contend with the present, with the goal of making things better for yourself, I think having an understanding of how these opposite forces, cruelty and compassion, how these opposite forces are two sides of the same coin, I think that's crucially important. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's talk about how A Very Old Man with Enormous Wings by Marquez can potentially make your life a little bit better. So I just mentioned the coexistence of cruelty and compassion earlier in this video. This, this dichotomy is an extremely important theme to remember when we think about the story. Marquez examines the human response to those who are weak, dependent, and different. And the response Marquez lays out for us is completely understandable relative to the world of the story. And the response Marquez lays out for us, although it's, you know, understandable relative to the world of the story, it isn't all that comforting. There's a startling amount of cruelty in this story. And while human cruelty isn't all that pleasant to consider, I do think it's something worth thinking about. Speaking generally, I think most of us like to imagine ourselves as good people. I think that most of the time you'd be hard pressed to find someone who didn't consider themselves the protagonist or the hero of their own story. And that's great. I think it's good to believe ourselves to be agents of good. But if we're only willing to identify ourselves as agents of good, I think we greatly increase our chances of being cruel, of blindly being wrong. And while a very old man with enormous wings doesn't exactly make an argument for supporting this idea, I think it's an interpretation we can draw directly from the text itself. A huge reason why I think this story is worth whatever time you're willing to give it is because Marquez's art can teach each of us about our capacity for cruelty despite our capacity for compassion and vice versa. So I'll ask the question, what do you think you would do if an angel fell from the sky? Would, would you welcome it with open arms? If it was injured, would you help it recover? I know these hypothetical questions are supposed to be a bit silly. I think for the majority of people, the answer to these questions seem obvious, but as Marquez shows us, there's more to these questions than verbal answers. The reality is compassion and cruelty are two forces that are continually warring with one another. It's easy to give answers to questions like, you know, the questions I asked, questions that seem obvious and morally uh, cut and dry, but things become much more complicated when it comes time to put an answer into practice. Words are one thing, actions are quite another, although you know they are obviously linked in a very serious way. But when put like this, I think the potential value 
reading Marquez's work can offer us becomes clearer. Our protagonists in this story are cruel. They exploit an angel for monetary gain, and that's just one of many examples of how their cruelty manifests. I think a reader could make the case that Marquez identifies cruelty as perhaps a more foundational human behavior than compassion. And I think having that perspective is extremely valuable because at least in my mind, it gives some idea of what the stakes of being compassionate are. Human beings are were cruel creatures, arguably the cruelest creatures on God's earth. We formulate airtight arguments to justify our cruelty. We can reason ourselves blind to the benefits and the value of being compassionate. And generally speaking, I think understanding human behavior through this paradoxical lens can be really humbling. It, it casts a critical light on our own behavior. It offers us the opportunity to maybe see ourselves more clearly and to be humbled by that. So why do I think this story can add something valuable to your life? For the simple reason that in four or five pages, Marquez is able to highlight this paradox that I've been talking about, this idea of um, you know, cruelty and compassion existing at the same time in the hearts of human beings. We're constantly navigating this space between being compassionate and being cruel. And this is something I'll talk about in a future video where we, you know, we read excerpts from the Gulag Archipelago by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. But for right now, when we read this story, I think in a way we can be humbled. We can be reminded that reality isn't exclusively dependent on our own experience and on the narratives that we construct for ourselves. In the context of this week of the Soul Course I'm teaching at Johns Hopkins, I've assigned Marquez's story because I really believe that virtually everyone can learn something from this piece. It serves as an archetypal example of the, of the war between the human capacity for cruelty and for compassion, and more generally, I think, between good and evil. I mentioned Solzhenitsyn um, a little while ago, and there's a quote, it's something like, I, I can't remember it exactly, but the, the line between good and evil runs down the heart of every man, woman, and child. And I think that the, the Marquez story that we're talking about today, a very old man with enormous wings, I think it functions as, you know, a, a, as a fictional iteration of kind of the, the truth that Solzhenitsyn found living in the Soviet Union. And I think that by giving our time to exploring these paradoxes, these contradictions, how, you know, so, there's some, um, there's a, a capacity for both sides of the same coin that are kind of always, it's always bubbling up inside of us. I think that that gives us a deeper perspective of our own capacity for good and for bad. And I don't think there's any limit to how valuable um, a, a deeper understanding of that idea can be. Okay, for now, that's everything I've got. So before I go, I wanna thank you, my wonderful viewer, for sticking with me to the end. If you found this video useful or helpful or interesting, I ask that you please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, your feedback. Um, really helps me. I just greatly appreciate it. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.